Cup runs are good. Defending trophies even better. But today we have a potential banana skin in the Ch uh, Caribou Cup against League 2 opposition. Can we avoid that banana skin? Let's find out. <laughs> It's a very warm welcome to uh, episode 56 of Making Chelsea Stand Proud. My name's Mark, and on today's episode, we have for you two games. As forementioned in the preamble, we have a Caribou Cup, a banana skin in the quarterfinal uh, against Northampton of League Two. Yes, League Two, a big banana skin. It's one of them big yellow things, yeah. Um, so we've got that today to start us off. Um, in defence of the Caribou Cup, which we've won for the last two seasons. Uh, can we make it three in a row? I think it's going to get extremely tough after this round because I think uh, if we get through to the semi-finals, the other three teams left in the uh, competition are going to be for sure. We'll check in a minute uh, Premier League sides. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, and then we have a... Um, I don't know if it's a trip to the... Uh, no, it's not. They're uh, coming to us. Uh, we, uh, we then... Um, Welcome Brighton Hove Albion to Stamford Bridge for uh, the latest Premier League game, uh, which hopefully will keep us uh, chucking away at the top of the table. Talking about the top of the table, how have we been doing since you were last with us? Well, I can tell you, uh, we have beaten Newcastle by two goals to one. Mason Mount uh, after five minutes and 74 minutes and uh, in between that, a goal from Zabrini uh, after 58 minutes, uh, giving Newcastle 1-1 uh, uh, for a short while. Uh, but uh, luckily Mason Mount uh, doing the business in that one. As you'll see, it was uh, pretty even Stevens um, XG-wise. They definitely gave us a run for our money. So uh, we need to be very, very aware of that going into the rest of uh, today's games. Um but we are still top of the table uh, by one point over Liverpool. Liverpool winning their match. Um, Manchester City in third, four points clear of them. Oh, pardon me. Uh, four points clear of Manchester City in third place. And then come Tottenham, uh, Arsenal, Wolves and Manchester United all on 28 points uh, tucked in there. So eight points adrift of us. Newcastle. Um, who we played in the last match just outside the uh, European places uh, on 27 points and then in the relegation zone. Still there, Bournemouth, Burnley and uh, Blackburn. Um, looks like Bournemouth and Burnley is trying to get close to uh, Norwich, but there's a little bit of a gap between them and Southampton opening up now as well. So uh, they definitely got to uh, sort themselves out in that bottom echelons as it was right. Um we were going to have a look and see who's left in the uh, in the Euro Caribou Cup. Um, I can tell you, Leicester and uh, Sheffield Wednesday. So Sheffield Wednesday, a League One side, and Northampton. So Sheffield Wednesday and Northampton, the only two non-Premier League sides still in the competition. Manchester City will be playing Brighton and Brentford will be playing Wolves. So if, if it goes to form, it should be Leicester, Chelsea, Brighton and Wolves. Or Brentford. Sorry. Leicester, Manchester City, Brighton, Brentford or Wolves in the next uh, round. So uh, any combination of that we'll see. Um, and then, uh, of course, uh, our nemesis, Manchester City, will have to face them at some point or other um, if we are going to win this for the third season in the trot. I think we beat them last season, didn't we, in the final? Was that in this competition? I get confused. Uh, let's go and check. Um Last season in the Caribou Cup final. Do, 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 do. Uh, Caribou Cup final. Yes, it was against Manchester City because we played them in the FA Cup fifth round, beat them 3 0. Um, and then we played them at Wembley in the Caribou Cup final uh, and beaten them again. Uh, so uh, there it is. Uh, Caribou Cup final. 
last season we beat Manchester City. We may well have to do the same again if we are going to um, progress in this competition. That's if we don't get them in the semi-final. Uh, right, team of the week, uh, Reese James and Mason Mount in that uh, last team. Um, I don't think there's much else to tell you apart from um, Mason Mount's a little bit unhappy at the minute. I don't know why. Um, he's uh, scoring well. He's uh, scored in the last two games, the game against Leicester uh, in the Premier League. Oh, that no, was last season. What am I on about? What am I on about? I know he scored in the last uh, in the last match. Well, I think I've just messed this right up now. There we go. Yeah, he scored in the last match and uh, scored back there. So he hasn't been quite as prolific this year. But then I guess he hasn't been playing because the formation we've been playing, he hasn't been playing. But we have switched back to the uh, four-two-three-one. Uh, you will notice certainly in the last game. Uh, to try and accommodate him as that attacking midfielder and uh, the little run we've got coming up uh, we decided that we could actually run with that for a while and just see how we get on before we face any of the big teams we might switch back to the uh, more defensive uh, 4-3-3 uh, two defensive midfielders if uh, if and when we come across some of the big teams like uh, Arsenal and Manchester United a little way down the line but for now um we are going to play that 4 2 3 1, um, and it's going to be a Caribou Cup quarter final against the Cobblers in Northampton Town. And this is the team that will face Northampton Town in this Caribou Cup quarter final. Uh, Kanasechi uh, is in goal. Uh, Chilwell, Garcia, Timber and James are defensive line. Rice and Fernandez in front of them. Uh, Rodrigo, Mount and Barboza are the uh, attacking midfield uh, with Mateus Tell up front on the bench. Kepa, Fafana, Kovacic, Broja, Kukarela, Savic, Howitz, uh, Kulabai and Kuman. Uh, Mendy rested. Uh, I think he's going to play for the under-21s actually. Uh, just to give him a bit of a change of scenery. Um, just a little bit of a concern going into the semi-finals. Uh, Reese James, uh, Joran Timber and Garcia all on yellow cards. But I guess, um, in a way, if we get them out of the way now, um, hopefully they're not going to hang over us uh, in the semi-finals. So uh, it will cause us a few problems, but not completely. Gets them out of the way. And then uh, if assuming we get through to the final, we know that they're not hindered by yellow cards. Uh, Cucurello has also got a yellow card if he comes on. Uh, so we will need to be careful there as well. But that's the side that will face the Cobblers. And this is how the two sides face up against one another. Uh, three, four, one, two, they are playing. And we are playing a four, two, three, one. Our first highlight, uh, five and a half minutes in, and it's to Northampton. But Rice nicks that ball, tries to find Mateus Tell, didn't find him, well defended. And that ball forward to Timber, heads it down to Fernandez. Fernandez to James. James already on the yellow card. Barboza inside to Rice. Rice tries to find Barboza again, but uh, it's cut out by the defender. And uh, rolled out from the back. Timber comes forward. Fernandez pounce on that. Mateus Tell round the goalkeeper. Puts it away for his fifth of the season. And with just seven minutes on the clock, we go one up. Decisive when we won that ball. Fernandez won it. Put it into the path of Mateus Tell round the goalkeeper and in the net. Just on side. And a highlight from kickoff. Walker gets us underway again. Long ball forward, but it's cut out by Garcia, who is well aware of what was going on. Timber to Fernandez. James. James finds Barboza. Barboza comes into the area. He's cut it inside, and it's uh, a penalty, I think. 
No VAR, of course, and uh, penalty given. Mason Mount, he's tucked that in the corner. And his ninth goal of the season. Tucks that away. What we are going to do, though, is we're going to go back for the penalty decision because we like to see these things. James finds Barboza, and we can see it from behind the goal now. Barboza into the area, and there it is. Rodrigo is tripped. <laughs> Goes on a roll. And uh, the referee is all the way back here. What he's doing back there, I haven't got a clue. But he's signalled for a penalty. I presume his linesman is here somewhere and has probably shouted at him, it's a penalty, boss. And they have a free kick now. It's swung in, but it's over the top, well over the top. Linnets with a throw in and a two-legged tackle. Mount finds Mateus Tell. Mateus Tell carries on, still got the ball through to Declan Rice. And it's 3-0 with uh, less than a quarter of an hour on the clock. We, uh, we, they're in danger of getting uh, blown away here. Uh, Duran Timber, who's on a yellow, won't be in the semi-final. I'm not sure whether Reese James will be either. And that's our two right-backs, which is a bit of a problem. You might have to uh, look at that. That's going to be tricky. Declan Rice putting that one away. And ball back to Chilwell. Chilwell on the overlap, crosses it in. It's defended well. Back in, though. Whacked back in by Declan Rice, who's playing fantastically. Tell! He's second of the game. Sixth of the season. 4-0, and it's barely half an hour on the clock. 22, 23 minutes on the clock, to be sure. Fernandez heads that down to Rice. Rice into the path of Mateus Tell, who hits it on the volley. Question of offside. That is, ooh, uh, it's not much in it. I think VAR might have had a different uh, view of that. A corner now from Mount. Swings it in. It's headed back out. Mount will get a second chance. Rodrigo back to Mount. Mount all the way back to Garcia. Fernandez, oh, shot from distance, but just wide. Chilwell with a free kick. Chilwell. Sharon defends that. Timber to James. Fernandez over the top for Mateus Tell, who gets his hat trick. Seventh of the season. Oh, he's on form. 5 0. Highlight from kickoff. And uh, Northampton, I mean, they're just re really, it's unfortunate. They're just getting pulverised. Rice goes out wide to Barboza. Barboza swings it in. It's cut out by Deich. And a uh, good uh, defensive uh, thing. But uh, Fernandez wins that ball back. We've been really bullying them in uh, midfield there. And... Uh, Ball forward, but nobody there. Garcia along the line to Chilwell. Chilwell. Rodrigo into Mateus Tell. Oh, it's well blocked this time. Chilwell. Mason Mount. Back to Chilwell. Chilwell fires it in. Chilwell heads it down to Rodrigo. Rodrigo finds Fernandez. Mount. Mount to Barboza, who takes a shot and it's blocked. Been well marshalled there. Barboza tries to find space, but uh, goalkeeper makes a good save. Another highlight straight away. Rice. And uh, we're all over them. But uh, they are defending. They've uh, switched on a little bit. Oh, that's a poor ball. Given away to Rodrigo. Fernandez. Fernandez through to Barboza. Finds the bottom corner. Fifth goal of the season for Barboza. And it makes it 6 0 with uh, 40 minutes on the clock, near enough.
James to Barboza. Barboza back to Timber. Timber to Garcia. Declan Rice finds Mason Mount. Tries to thread it through for Rodrigo. Didn't do it, though. Rodrigo will get another chance now. He's in the area. Crosses it in. And Mateus Tell gets his fourth of the game. And uh, he's eighth of the season. He's doubled his season's uh, goal scoring in one game here. He's uh, blistering at the minute. Begging to get a start in the Premier League. That one's put away. And Northampton will be pleased to see half-time. They have been battered. A false nine gale, I think it is. Uh, Mateus Tell, four goals. Mason Mount from the penalty spot. Declan Rice and Barboza, the other scorers. 19 shots, 10 on target. 3.88, 55% of the possession. Northampton have had one shot, none on target. 45% uh, of the possession. It's a good first half, and I do feel sorry for Northampton. First highlight of the second half, 52 minutes in. Timber to uh, Barboza. Barboza back to Timber, to Garcia. And Chilwell. Chilwell comes into the area, cross it in, and it's Mateus Tell. Ninth goal of the season, just pops it over the line, 8-0. Uh, with 52 minutes, 53 minutes on the clock. We'll see it again. Chill well. Just a little bit of... Uh, swings it in. In fact, it bobbled around. Come back off the goalkeeper. And uh, went in the back of the net. And with 60 minutes on the clock, we can afford to rest a few players. Give them a little bit of a rest. And uh, give some of the players that don't play that often... Um, a chance to shine. Broja has come on for uh, the uh, five-goal Mateus Tell. Um, Savic has come on for Mason Mount. And we've brought Kovacic on for Declan Rice. They are our first three changes. We'll make some more uh, in a short while. Free kick, chill well. Swings it in, Fernandez, who heads that over the top. And with 76 minutes on the clock... We're going to make one more change at this juncture in time. Yaron Timber is off and uh, Khalidu Kolobai is on. Chilwell with the uh, free kick and it's, uh, I thought he'd gone in. And it's all over. It's an 8 0 win. Only one goal in that second half. Mateus Tell uh, scoring it after 53 minutes. So a bit more of a quiet second half. We didn't. Uh, Lambust Northampton too much in that second half, but uh, well, 29 shots, 15 on target, 50%, 4.94, 57% of the possession. Uh, South uh, Southampton, Northampton have five shots, nothing on target, 0.43, uh, 43% of the possession. Bit of a one sided affair, really. A uh, bit of a disappointment, all in told. We only picked up those two yellow cards. Uh, but uh, that could affect us going into uh, the semi uh, the semi final. We'll see. Uh, we do have a draw then coming up uh, very very shortly. Uh, player of the match was Mateus Tell with his five goals out of the eight. Um, also good games for Fernandez, uh, Garcia, Chilwell, uh, Rodrigo, and Declan Rice all uh, all having great games. Nobody really played badly, I guess. Oh, boys and girls, our Manchester City in a little bit of a rut. Goodness me, it's all happening in the uh, rest of the Caribou Cup. Brentford have beaten Wolves by four goals to one. We've beaten Brentford in, I think, the first time that we won it. We beat Brentford. Uh, but Manchester, more importantly, Manchester City, have been, and are, what would have caused us a problem, have been knocked out by Brighton. Uh, Trossard getting uh, the goal after 41 minutes in reply to Grealish's uh, opening goal after eight minutes, but they beat them on penalties. And, uh, well, that means that um, we uh, go into the draw with Brentford and Brighton and uh, I'm not sure who else. Uh, Leicester and Sheffield Wednesday, they play tomorrow, I think. So uh, we'll see when they've been drawn. It'll either be Leicester or Sheffield Wednesday in the draw then, along with Brighton and Brentford and ourselves. Oh, I think uh, that uh, has really up the ante. I was uh, expecting a, a tussle with Manchester City, but they're going off the boil a little bit at the moment. And, uh, well, that's good news.
And you come back. There is confirmation of Leicester beating uh, Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, 10 men, Sheffield Wednesday, 3 0. Uh, scoring in uh, one minute, Daka, Barnes, and Pinamonte uh, getting the goals for Leicester. So they go into the draw. It's Leicester, Brentford. If we actually have a look at the uh, fixtures and results, uh, Leicester, Brentford, Brighton. And ourselves in the draw for the um, semi-final of the uh, Caribou Cup. And, of course, uh, as we know, Leicester. We've had a little bit of a problem with Leicester in the recent past. Um, so, um, I don't know. It's it's one of those. We'll see who we draw. Uh, in fact, talking about draws, let's go and find out who we're going to be playing in the semi-final of the Caribou Cup. Here we are then for the semi-final draw of the Caribou Cup. And uh, we're going to get the draw underway. Good Johnson is uh, our ceremony host for this one. Four teams in the pot. Brighton, Brentford, Leicester and Chelsea. And Brighton are first out. And they will play Brentford. Which means we are playing Leicester. Brighton playing Brentford. Leicester will play ourselves, Chelsea. And I presume that means that Leicester at home first. It's a two-legged affair. There is the draw. Brighton, Brentford, Leicester, Chelsea. That is how it uh, falls out. So let's have a quick look at the schedule and see how that uh, fits in. Yep, Leicester away first. And then uh, we have uh, Leicester at home in the second leg. And uh, you'll notice that we've got Leicester coming up very, very soon uh, at the uh, King Power. And uh, that will uh, give us a bit of a, an idea as to what's coming up. Uh, but uh, we did lose to them last time at the King Power Stadium uh, by three goals to one. Did a job on us. And they did a job on us at Stamford Bridge. Um, I think the only side possibly to do a double over us last year, Leicester. So we're going to have to be very careful. Beat them the uh, season before. Never met them in a cup, though. So uh, that could be quite interesting. So we'll see how that uh, all falls out. Uh, but uh, can see uh, future episodes coming together now. Uh, Leicester, Blackburn and Bournemouth will be offline. We'll come back for Southampton and the first leg of the Caribou Cup uh, semi-final. And then we'll come back for the third round of the FA Cup and the second leg. And then it will be into the final two Champions League league phase games. Manchester United uh, versus uh, Mol uh, Manchester United, then Molfover uh, and Everton and Dortmund. So uh, pretty much when we get to there, it's back-to-back -back episodes uh, for that little watch uh, to the end of July. So probably all of July's matches you'll be seeing, and then we'll see where we are in the competitions and how the rest of the season falls out. Right, um, having got that out of the way, it is um, Brighton up next then in the uh, Premier League. And uh, as we've uh, played them four times so far this series, uh, we meet them again today for the fifth time. We've not lost to them. We've only conceded one goal um, that game at um, the um, Amic, Amic Stadium um, in Brighton on that occasion. Uh, but uh, I think uh, it's uh, an all-interesting match. Just one thing to note before we get to that um, Premier League, uh, the table. Um, Liverpool have played a game more than us now. Um, and they have gone into the lead by two points. Uh, we can obviously go back in front if we win today, um, but uh, we need to uh, sort ourselves out and make sure that we do. Manchester City uh, still have a game in hand. Well, they, they are the same amount of games as us um, as well. So let's see what we can do then against Brighton. And this is the team to face Brighton in this uh, Premier League game. And uh, it's Kanasechi continues in goal, um, basically because, um, well, he's just had such a good game last time out. Not really um, challenged that much, but uh, Mendy is on the bench. Uh, Chilwell, Kulabai, Timber and James are, are back line. Pretty much uh, the same Kulabai coming back in. Rice and Fernandez. In that central midfield, play so well against Northampton. Cooman, Mount, and Sterling are um, attacking uh, line. 
Mateus Tell gets the nod up front after scoring five against Northampton. Can he do the same against uh, Brighton? Let's hope so. On the bench then, Mendy, Garcia, Otavio, Havitz, Fafana, Savic, Rodrigo, Cucurella and Kovacic. And this is how the two teams face off against one another. Um, Mark Van Bommel is the manager of Brighton. Uh, Sanchez in goal. Williams, Dunk, Webster and Lamperty are the defensive line. Alzerte as the defensive midfielder. Zalski and Thuram in central midfield. Trossard and Abadea are the wide players behind McAllister up front on the bench. McCrory. Uh, Estebanen, who uh, is, can do some damage. Zegueri, uh, Morelos, uh, Sarimento, uh, Tanganga, uh, Ryan, Senesi, and Veltman are on the bench. Uh, Tanganga, of course, remember from our Tottenham save last year. Let's hope he doesn't do us any damage today. Brighton playing in a sort of uh, orangey, ready strip. And they have the ball and the first highlight seven minutes in. Uh, Chilwell winning that ball, but that was poor. Put that back into dangerous space. Who was that? I'm uh, going to have words. In fact, I think it's moved on. Let's uh, just see it again because uh, this was Chilwell. It was Fernandez who pushed that back. We highlight from kickoff, Kana Sechi. James. James forward to Sterling. Cuts inside. Crosses it deep. Uh for Chilwell. And he did he had to work hard to get that. Kulabite. Kuman. Sanchez with the goal kick. Mateus Tell underneath that one. It's gone out wide to Abada. Abada is well blocked. Rice. I presume that was Chilwell. Mateus Tell, Mateus Tell, oh, he's put it in. He's 10th of the season and uh, he's uh, just proving that uh, it was a good choice to choose him in front of uh, Habits, who's off form at the minute and might get the message if he's on the bench for a couple of games, especially if uh, Mateus Tell. Joran Timber to James Timber. Fernandez Rice goes out wide to Chilwell. Chilwell is cut inside his man. That was a big turn of pace. Crosses it into the area but couldn't get ahead on it. Chilwell chips it in. And Sterling, Raheem Sterling. No, you don't see him score many from there. A headed goal, but it's 2 0 after 28 minutes. Chilwell, lovely ball across. Looking for Mateus Tell, I think it was. Crossed it in. And Raheem Sterling getting up. It's only small. Uh, throw in on that far side. Chilwell to Mount. Back to Chilwell. Chilwell finds Mount. Mount has a go, but it's just gone over. And half time comes. It's uh, it's a 2 0 lead up to half time. Mateus Tell, Raheem Sterling, two goals in eight minutes. And uh, we've had 12 shots, five on target, 0.71 on the XG. 58% of the possession. They've had five shots, two on target, 0.59, 42% of the possession. Uh, Table-wise, uh, we are top uh, on, by virtue of this game, but you'll notice that Liverpool are playing Wolves uh, in the, the later game. Uh, so uh, we may end up the episode in second place, uh, but with the game in hand, I hasten to add, Manchester City must be playing on Sunday because... Uh, they're not uh, down playing at the moment. So uh, that's uh, how it is all at half time. And with 17 minutes on the clock, uh, we have made two changes. Mark Cucurella has come on for Ben Chilwell, a change that we make fairly often. And uh, Milankovic Savic is on for Declan Rice, both of uh, whom are tiring after their efforts against Brighton. And we have a highlight right after that change. And uh, it's uh, Brighton coming forward at the moment. Lampetti crosses it in, uh, but Karnasechi 
catches that. May have a free kick now. McAllister. Oh, he's come back off the post and uh, cleared. Lopetti, another free kick. And uh, Brighton there, but well got in that. Who was that got in there? It was uh, Reese James got in. Sterling on the ball. Sterling comes forward, cross it into the area, looking for somebody to get on the end of it, but didn't. And uh, that's been kept in by Morales. And uh, Sarah Mendel, but uh, Kulabai now. Sergi, Enzo to James. Find Sterling, Sterling. Crosses that, finds Cucurella on the left wings. Matez Tell, he's 10th, oh, he's 11th goal of the season. And uh, he puts us three up. That's two for him in this game. And uh, as I said earlier, he's showing why Habits is sat on the bench. And with 78 minutes on the clock, uh, we have made our final changes. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is Reese James is tired, but I want to see him. I want him to see the game out. So uh, we've made those changes, and the changes that we have made are as follows: Wesley Fanfana has come on uh, for Joran Timber, who's uh, he's okay, but uh, we've just decided to give uh, Wesley Fanfana a little bit of a a run out because he's not been in uh, the uh, team just recently. And uh, he's alongside uh, Kulabai for this one. Kulabai is in uh, good form at the moment, uh, to having said all of that. Um, Kai Habits has come on for Mason Mount. Um, so we've got Habits off the bench, but not as the striker. So um, that's uh, a position he can actually um, slot in and around. We could move Mateus Tell around if we need to as well. Otavio comes on on the left side and we have taken off um, uh, Kingsley Kuman has come off for Otavio who can play on either side. Uh, none of the players playing badly today uh, but uh, just decided to uh, freshen it up a little bit uh, up front and also uh, in defence. And you come back uh, ball forward for Tell who's on a hat-trick now of course. Sterling, Habits, Habits puts it away. And maybe that's the impetus that Habits wanted. 4-0 against Brighton then, uh, virtually on 90 minutes. And uh, that's Habits' 11th goal of the season. I mean, Mateus Tell has caught him up now. Sterling puts this in. Habits just steadies himself. And, um, I mean, that is Habits' uh, preferred position. And it's a good win in the Premier League for us. Uh, firing on all cylinders, another clean sheet. 4 0 win. Matthias Tell, two goals, 20 and 76. Raheem Sterling after 28. Kai Abitz on uh, full time, pretty much. 28 shots, 14 on target, 50%, 61% possession, 2.36. Uh, Brighton did have nine shots, four on target, 0.68, and 39% of the possession. But. We have a one out today and uh, good performances all round. Well, we will come back in a minute for uh, an update uh, after Liverpool play Wolves. Uh, but uh, as it currently stands, we are in the lead in the uh, Premier League by one point over Liverpool, who are in second and they've got Wolves to play. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's uh, not a bad day at the office. And uh, we've got a goal difference of 23 now. As well, let's go and have a look and see how Liverpool get on against Wolves then. And uh, we'll finish up with the table as it stands before going uh, to the end of the episode. Well, boys and girls, it's going our way at the moment. Liverpool have lost against Wolves by two goals. Wolves are going really, really well at the moment. Lost 2-1 to them uh, today. Geddes getting two goals against Liverpool. Ward-Prowse getting the uh, the other goal uh, for Liverpool. But uh, as it turns out, they've been beaten. Tottenham been beaten as well. Tottenham now dropped out of the, uh, um, the European places. So we have a game in hand over um, Liverpool. 
and we are a point in front of them. We win that uh, game in hand. We are four points clear of uh, Liverpool in second place. Um, Manchester City do have a game in hand over us, but we would still be four points clear of them um, if they win that game in hand. But uh, as it stands at the minute, seven points clear of Manchester City, uh, the reigning champions in third place. Then come Wolves in fourth, who are on a really fine vein of form. Manchester United fifth, also on 31 points. Then Newcastle 30, Everton on 29, Tottenham, Arsenal uh, on 28, Middlesbrough on 26, Blackburn, Bournemouth and Burnley still in that drop zone. Uh, don't seem to be able to get out of it at the moment. Uh, let's hope they don't uh, in the ensuing games because I notice we do play them or play a combination of them coming up. Um, Blackburn and Bournemouth, to be precise, coming up in the next two games. Um, so uh, we're going to uh, play Leicester, Blackburn and Bournemouth offline. Leicester currently in 11th place, a Bournemouth in 19th. Um, sorry, Blackburn in 18th, Bournemouth in 19th. Um, we'll be back for Southampton and the uh, Caribou Cup semi-final first leg against Leicester. Uh, we will then see whether we uh, are in a good position to be looking to uh, win the Caribou Cup for the third successive season. Can we do it? Join me and find out um, because uh, we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do very quickly is just find out when the final is scheduled. Um, semi-final the final is on the 2nd of March 2nd of March for the final so uh, if we go back to the schedule 2nd of March it's around about here when we play Leicester again strangely enough um, so around about there um, but that's uh, very much a future episode uh, some way down the line now well, a very good episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have. Um, don't forget to leave me uh, a big thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification button to keep you up to date with all future episodes of this. And my other series, To Be A Legend, if you haven't watched that yet, go and find it. Have a watch. Um, and any new series, because uh, this is the final season here at Chelsea. We will wrap it up at the end of this season, hopefully, with a good, resounding, got uh, Chelsea standing proud again. Um and, of course, it'll let you know when everything is released if you hit that subscribe button and uh, the notifications. Uh, new episodes of uh, Chelsea Stand, Making Chelsea Stand Proud uh, released every Tuesday and Friday at 4.15pm here on the channel. Uh, and the best way to keep up to date so you know when everything's being released, um, when it's out, um, if there's any delays, uh, when new stuff's happening and all the rest of it, uh, the best way to do that is to keep up to date what's happening on the channel. Uh, follow me on Twitter, at Just Offside 2. It's below here. Yeah. Um, uh, thank you for watching. Hope to see you for the next episode. It'll be episode 57. It's out on Friday. Until then, have a good week. Bye-bye.